Hi guys, hope you're well. Now, in the last lesson we looked at how to describe the variables um, for our IELTS questions. Today we're going to look a bit more closely at these variables and the numbers, the proportions which um, reflect these, these variables in our graphs. Okay, so we're going to be describing statistical data today. So, first of all, we are going to look at describing, expressing proportions, okay? And we're also going to express numbers. We're going to see how we use prepositions when we're talking about these proportions or numbers, okay? So, first of all, looking at proportions. Now, what kind of proportions are we going to look at? Well, first of all, we're going to look at writing per percentages, okay? Then we're going to look at describing ratios. I'll explain what ratios are in a little while. And then finally looking at fractions, and again I'll explain that in a little moment. Okay? Good. Now, so looking at percentages in particular. Okay? Now, first of all, we want to look at how we write these percentages in English. Percentages may be written in different ways in different languages. So you've got to make sure that you write it in the correct form for the English language. So first of all, you can see here we've got number plus symbol. Okay, so the symbol comes after the number, because in some languages the symbol comes before the number. Okay, so let's take a look at some numbers here. We've got 10, we've got 36, we've got 87, we've got 1.2. And then we've got the percentage sign afterwards. Okay, so how do we say these? Or how do we write these out in full words? Okay, well, the first one, we've got 10%. Percent is important, okay? We do not say 10 percentage. We say 10%. 36%. 37%. 40%. And finally, 1.2%. Okay, that's 1.2, not 1.2%. Okay? Now, let's take a look now at some example sentences using these numbers as percentages okay so how do we write this into sentences okay complete sentences for IELTS first example here we've got we can see a slight rise in April from around 32 percent to 38 percent okay very straightforward another one we could write 56 percent of the people surveyed were against plans for a new road. Okay, They did not agree with the plans for a new road. Maybe this new road was going through their area and it was going to bring too much traffic to their area, so these people disagreed with the new plans for this new road. Okay. Another sentence, we could say profits rose last year by 0.32% per month. That's 0.32%, not not point. 32%. We don't say 0.32, we say 0.32%. Okay, so this company's profits were rising every single month by 0.32%. Okay, good, good. So, what about ratios? Well, a ratio is when we're describing how many of one thing there are in relation to how many of another thing. Okay, we're going to look at men and women here. So we're going to look at, um, in a survey, a question was asked to men and women, okay, but how many men said something and how many women said the same thing, okay? Let's take a look. I've got a diagram here, okay? So the ratio of men to women. So first of all, one woman, another woman, and a man, okay? So we've got two women and one man, okay? So three people, two women, one man, okay? Let's add some more women and men. Another one, so another two women and another one man. Another two women, another one man, another two women, another man, and finally, another two women and one man. Okay, you can see the pattern here. Two women, one man, okay? How do we express that in English, okay? Well, first of all, we could say that the ratio of women to men was...